Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn three different formulas of Microsoft Excel. The first one is network days, second one is work days, and third one is work days international. So let's start with network days. So as you can see, we have this data, we have employees ID, their name, then their joining date and resigning date. Now we want to calculate the number of working days each employee has worked for us. So we'll use our formula here, which is equals to net work days, then tab. Now as this formula is asking, we will use this as a start date, then comma, now resigning date as end date. And if you have any holidays written separately, you can select after the comma. But in our case, we will end this with bracket and then enter. As you can see, it has calculated the number of days John has worked for us. So we'll drag this formula down from here till the end and then from here fill without formatting and now you can see this one who has joined on 1st October 2021 and she has worked till 7th and the number here is 5 because out of 7 days weekends are excluded and she has worked only 5 days. Next formula is work days. So now I will learn how to use work days function in Microsoft Excel. This formula is exactly the opposite of network days because here we have joining date in days we want to add into joining date to get an end date. Let me show you here. So our formula is equals to work days then tab then we'll select this joining date then comma now days of the contract. Let's say we have contract with John that he will work 784 working days for us. So the end date of contract will be 29th of August 2022. So then we will drag this formula to see others and then from here fill without formatting. Now you can see exact date for all. You have holidays written separately. You can extract these as well by selecting this with F2. Then from here you will click here and you can see this holidays after comma then comma and for holidays I will select these dates and then enter. So it will adjust the date. Now you can see changes in this and last formula for this video is workdays international. We have same data and formula also work in a same way but there is one extra thing we can do with this formula which was not available in that. So now we will learn how to use workday international formula in Microsoft Excel. So we'll use our formula here which is equals to workday and you can see this one in the end then tab. Now we'll select our joining date as we did with our previous formula then comma now we'll select days we want to add then comma now you can see this feature which was not available and work days formula that here you can select your weekends so as this formula sounds international so it follows international standards as in dubai employees have friday and saturday off so you can select that and maybe some companies offer only sunday off so you can select that as well so it will adjust dates in that way and it will count six working days in a week so in order to select this we will press tab then comma and if you have holidays which are written separately you can select those as in our case we have these here so we'll select these break it over and enter so here you go and if we drag this formula down to see others and from here fill without formatting and for a comparison purpose let's use it same formula here again work date then international then start date will be same then comma then this one then comma now we'll select saturday and sunday both as weekend then break it over and enter now you can see changes in this i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please hit that like button comment down if you have any question share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe